how long does a butterfly live? So in general, we're talking about 10 days for a male and about 12 to 14 for a female. Now that can change within the five families of butterflies. In her lifespan of about 12 to 14 days in general, she lays about uh, 10,000 eggs. 80% uh, of those 10,000 eggs are eaten, are eaten by everyone else. The 80% of the 20% that become larvae, are caterpillars, are parasitized by wasps. It, then 20% of the 80% that make it to the adult stage, the pretty stage that we all like looking at, eaten by birds. Butterflies are basically food for everyone else. Huh? It also gives you a little bit of a reverence if you actually see something in flight, how long it took that too many things didn't eat it along the, uh, the way. It's really not butterfly weather, but uh, we, crazier things have happened. All right, let's hit the trail. Where are the butterflies now? Right, they're hanging out underneath a leaf. They're very waiting just to feel enough sun to get going, to crawl out. They thermal regulate by opening their wings and they take in as much sun as they can just to get going in the morning. But if they feel this weather, they're not, they're not budging. Butterflies, people think they're just randomly haphazarding around, but like birds, there's certain species within an ecosystem. So if you were thinking like I think, you would be walking out of that area and then boom, you're in the sunny glade. Well, you would then start to see butterflies. You, get, you start to think like there's nectar sources here, there's host plants, and then there's a, there, they do seem to like these bowling little glades like this. FYI, in the future, you'd see more butterflies here than we would have just that trail back there that we would, if we had butterflies. <laughs> This is called Habertus grunus, or the golden hair streak. It's one of the rarest butterflies in the Bay Area. I can tell you that it is because if you go backwards, she's host specific. She only puts her egg on this species of Quercus. So you would not find the butterfly on it. Look at all the other species of oak that we have in, around here. So mm -hmm. hopefully we can muster up a golden hair streak. And about 750 known species of butterflies in the United States. We all love our butterflies. 350,000 moths, 350,000 moths. So what's really going on in the order of Lepidoptera is that this little pretty day flying niche of Lepidoptera that has found the day, because the real story is all the night pollinating with the super group of moths. This little smart little group found an area during the day that wasn't really being utilized and has sort of evolved into butterflies. It's a very interesting, so now there's beautiful day flying moths, so there's always sort of exceptions to all these rules, but day flying and night flying are usually the two differences. Butterfly's antenna that you can all see, this is a club. There's always a little club on the end of a butterfly's antenna, but the uh, male moth is a beautiful plume feather and the female has like an attenuated little thread. There's a red flower here, columbine, and it's hanging like a trumpet over. It is probably one of the main nectar sources for Papilio eurymedon, the pale tiger swallowtail. They're very attracted to red flowers. I would say about two thirds of our species do something called hilltopping. Late in the afternoon, usually on a warm day, if we start getting heat around 11 o'clock, hilltopping can start around noon. But in general, hilltopping's from about two o'clock to about five o'clock. And what that means is that they are both programmed, both males and females, wherever they're born, to go to the nearest hilltop to find each other. It's a really interesting phenomenon. They're programmed for motion. It's the topography that's pulling them in. If you throw a rock up, five boys will try to mate with the rock too. So it's, it's more a motion thing. We used to call it a predatory, or they're, or they're defending their territory, and, and that's way too anthropomorphic. No, it's just moving. They mate with anything that moves. And one of the crazier things, too, is that they don't have a lot of, I'm being kind of hard on them, but they don't have a lot of recall. Like a male and a swallowtail, and another male and a swallowtail, will go to each other, shoot straight in the air, they do a pheromone exchange, you've seen that before where they're shooting up straight. Well, what it is is they're checking out if they're the opposite sex. And if they are, then they split at the top and they go away from each other. <laughs> but 
boys being like we are, they will land and then they're like, oh, there's one. And then they'll all, <laughs> you can see these guys doing it for hours. Like they've never met each other and they just met each other five seconds ago. It's, it's so, you're like, wow, that is just dumb as spit. But uh, it's kind of funny, you know, just, oh, there's a girl. Uh, no. It's like hope springing eternal, right? I found an invertebrate. You can't say I didn't find an invertebrate. He looks kind of Palomino.